Are you seeing the show? Yeah, Are you seeing see the show? The show. So the bubbles to the show bubble with us. Oh, oh see this here. Oh, see this here. Yeah, Yes. Welcome to Zesta Herbal Soap Skincare and Lifestyle. Today I will show you how to make multi-purpose soap. This style will give you the kind of commercial soap in the market. Okay, here I have my oil. As you can see, it's not yet bleached. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to add in my sulfonic acid. Okay, about 1% of my sulfonic acid. Okay, in here I have 5 liters of pancreas. I'll mix then allow it stay for about 10 minutes then we'll continue welcome back this is after some minutes you can see the palm oil looks darker okay even on the whisk it looks darker so now i'm going to add in my hydrogen peroxide okay and mix so after adding my hydrogen peroxide i like to bleach for some time i'm going to add my color I'm using red color. I'm adding just a little bit. Okay. This red color will eventually turn pink. You know, when you join red and white, it gives you pink. Is it not so? You understand what I mean as the video progresses. So now this is my warm water. As you can see, there are some little bubbles in it. It's warm. And this is my sugar. my sugar into my warm water and mix I'll keep aside and allow it to dissolve so next is my calcium my calcium is 700 grams I'm going to add just enough water to liquefy it okay just enough water to liquefy it and that should be about that should be about 800 ml of water. I'm not using much water in this recipe. Okay, 800 ml or one liter will do. I'll have to add again. Then for my sugar, as you can see, it is dissolving. So now this is my calcium, my um, my caustic. My caustic is 888 grams. My soda ash is 444 grams. Okay, so I want to measure out water. To make my to make my solution so i'm going to pour the sugar my sugar has already melted all so i'm pouring it here so that i'll be able to use the measuring cylinder to measure out my water so i measure so for water i'm using 271 mils of water that's two liters and 71 mils isn't also sorry 2071 mils of water that's two liters seven 2 liters and 71 mils. Already here is 1 liter. So we'll fetch this 1 liter 2 times. And then my 71. You see the lowest here is 200. My 71 will be half of this is 100. A little lower should be 71. But I can't use this one. I'll use another different one. That will give me more accurate measurement. So but before that let's fetch our 2 liters of water. So we've poured in 1 liter. Remaining 1 more liter. So, this is one more liter of water we pour in, okay, remaining 71 ml of water. Now, for the 71 ml, I'm using this smaller beaker. This smaller beaker from here to here is 100 ml. Here is 80 ml. My 71, this is 60. Half of 60 is, half of this between 60 and 80 is 10. So, half of it is what, 70. Um, Half of it will be what? Uh, between 60 and 80 is 20. 
So half of it will be what? 70. So the what this about 71 ml of water. I pour. Okay. That's for my caustic soda. I'll stir this in now. You can see my windows are open now. You can see. Okay. Always do this in a well ventilated area. You can see the fumes moving. I don't know if you can see the fumes. The fumes are moving out. Okay. So I'll leave it for some time and start measuring for my soda ash. For my soda ash to be 1035. This is my 1000 mils of water. I pour in. Then using the smaller beaker, I'll now fetch my 35 mils. For, as you can see, my caustic has already completely dissolved. It is hot. Still bringing out fumes. It is yet to clear, but it has started clearing. I'll go ahead and start dissolving my soda ash now. One thing with this soda ash, don't you ever pour water in it and then sit down and wait for it to. If you wait for it, you come and find a hard mass under. Once you pour it like this, you have to keep on stirring. Okay, you have to keep on stirring it. Okay, so I'll keep on stirring that and then turn that to you. I'm still stirring, no, I'm still stirring. So next is my alcohol. You mix the two together. My fire is on. This is my oil. You can see it's pink. It's reddish because of the red color. Okay. <clears throat> my aspiration is to get a pink color. But for now, it's looking reddish. My caustic, my soda ash, my calcium. The last but not the and the last but not the least ingredient we'll be adding is our glycerin. And here I have 67 mils of glycerin here, okay? So welcome back. I want to show you my oil. This is my oil here, okay? Cooking inside the pot. Let me show you the color, how it looks like. You see the pink color? See how the pink, let me put it against this. You see how pink it looks, man? Right? If it's not pink enough, I can easily add it later. But for now, let me leave it like this so that it won't be too much. So you can see my already prepared mold. Okay. You prepare your mold before you start proper. This is another emergency mold here. In case of extra, in case of anything, just always have something standing by. Okay. Taking a pink colored mouth for her soup. This mold to cover it. This is my mold, it's already ready. I also have another mold here. 
in case of intensity. You know, when you're making soap, anything can happen, emergency can happen. So I always have two molds on the ground in case anything happens. Because I've had situations where I'm making soap, I've already lined everything, everything was all right. I poured the soap and suddenly the soap started leaking. From one small hole I do not see. Before you run and gather up and then fix and then get another mold back, you find out that you lost a considerable amount of soap. So to avoid that, even though I know I've made it perfectly, I still line another second mold, second mold. So that in case anything happens, I quickly switch to the other mold. And then when you're lining your soap, you can use any lining. You can use, like this one I'm using here is soft. You can use the one that's a bit hard. Like I have the one of tarpaulin. Okay, so I have two types. I have the one that is pauline. I have the one that is soft. Okay. Why I'm using this soft one is because you can see the way I line the soap. Let me show you. You can see the way I line the soap. I lined it with one single piece completely everywhere. One single piece. But if it's with tarpaulin, it will be that I've already cut it into pieces and then I now arrange. Why I'm using this is that the soap will be fluid. Okay. Any small hole that soap can follow and be going out. And before the soap will, before the, before the soap will harden enough to block that hole, you'd have made a lot of loss. But if you're using, if you're using a recipe that you know that the soap will be a little bit hard, you understand, such that as you're pouring, it is forming to some extent, not immediately, but it's forming to some extent, you will not be able to use that other one that I said, tarpaulin. But for this particular one, this is the kind of lining I want to use, okay? So, let's continue. Let me check my soap. Steam is coming out. So this is it. It is liquefying gradually. I just mixed it up. It was hard before, more than this. But it's liquefying gradually. So I'll close it up again and allow it to so this is our soap cooking. So these are these are the ingredients still remaining. Okay, so I'm going to put in the next ingredient. So I'll pour this into my soap. Hot process soap making. You can see a change in texture immediately I pour that in. I'll be adding my next ingredient.
Do you know why I'm shaking it? Do you know why I'm shaking it? No, I don't know. So that the, no, the bubbles no, inside know. will come off. So that the bubbles that are inside it will come off. Okay. Are you seeing them coming off? Okay. Are you seeing them popping? I, I, I see. All the bubbles that are yeah, trapped inside will come off. Okay. So let okay. me move this as a small spoon. I have another yeah. mold. Yeah, you know your story. <clears throat> this is another mold. Okay. Are you seeing this other one? Yeah, I see. I have two molds. Are you seeing this other one? I'll pour the many soap inside. Yeah, I see the other one. Yes. Okay. So I now use spatula to scoop it in all in. Okay. I'm aware of that. Got a chop. Got a chop. Got a chop up. So you see that's yeah. all. So the way this soap is like this, I'll leave it till tomorrow. Yeah, I see. Okay. Are you seeing the soap? Yeah, Are you seeing the soap? So the bubbles should the soap up with us. Oh, so see this here. Oh, see this here. 